Hello, hello, hello. Coming to you on Saturday afternoon for my update on my journey. So, um, for those of you who have been following me, I've decided that Saturdays before I do my self-care, which is my bath, I will give an update bubble bath with lavender foaming Epsom salt. The best. But anyways, so, um, just did my running from my couch to 10K. My goal um, by the end of the summer is to run a 5k minimal and then eventually run a 10k. That's my goal. So I had said that I'm going to do an update every Saturday afternoon. Do you guys know where I'm at? Obviously I share pictures. I share food. This week has been a little off. Work has had some changes at work. So I'm just trying to get in the right, um, right routine, right morning and evening routine and just getting into something that will work for me so I can hit my goals, get my sleep, and be happy, be easy to deal with, get my work done, show up at work like I need to, show up for my businesses like I need to, show up for my family like I need to, my husband, my kids, um, my friends, everybody, my team, show up for everybody how I feel good showing up. Um, so this week was reintroduction for me and I have learned so much this week. I have learned <laughs> that I am sensitive to, well, I already knew that I was sensitive to dairy and gluten, but it is still, dairy and gluten is still a major issue for me. But I also have sensitivities to eggs, corn, and soy. Um, and if I have too much sugar, like above the 15 grams for maintenance for a four week gut protocol, I get a headache. So if I have anything above the 15 grams, I get a migraine. Um, so I've kind of learned that food, sugar, what I'm putting in my body has been what has caused my migraines in the past. And it's not a good feeling. So people are like, okay, gluten, dairy, corn, eggs, soy, what can you eat? So everybody keeps asking me, how is it sustainable? What can you eat? Well, this is not about being sustainable. This is about feeling good, being healthy, getting results, not being stuck at that size 12 with major bloating, with gut, gut pain, gas, um, inconsistencies in the bathroom, let's say. Um, if I have those things that I named off again, gluten, dairy, eggs, soy, corn, I um, can have them get a massive migraine, I get bloated, so I look five, six months pregnant. Um, I have major, major gut pain, like Thursday night. Um, the pain was so severe, and that was from corn, because that was the day I tested corn. Um, the gut pain was just unreasonable immediately after I ate corn. It was tortilla chips, that's what I had, um, and a corn on the cob. So, yeah, immediately... Um, and then, yeah, it just, <laughs> I've been reintroducing technically for about a week and a half. And um, I already knew gluten and dairy are a no-go. So I just didn't even test those things because I just know that I can't have it. Um, because after my first pregnancy, dairy was a sensitivity for me. So like I've done um, elimination diets before. I've done elimination diets before. So I knew for my first pregnancy, it was dairy. So, you know, I switched almond milk, coconut milk. Um, cashew milk, that's really the thing, my go-to's. I didn't, I limited my cheese. I limited, like, I would have, like, a cheeseburger every once in a while. But I really wouldn't have a whole, maybe a little Parmesan cheese on something. But I really limited the dairy. Uh, we also, for butter, things like that, we switched to dairy-free. I've also transitioned to ghee recently when I started four-week gut protocol and do absolutely fine on that. We all do fine on that. Nobody knows the difference. Um, if it's things like potatoes and stuff where the kids put actual butter on, they have dairy-free. It's like avocado oil butter. And I do okay on that too. If I just, again, limit it. But the eggs, the corn, and the soy are new. I mean, I use soy sauce in almost everything. And no wonder I had gut pain almost every day, bloating almost every day. Um, because I use soy sauce. Now I've switched to coconut aminos. Not had that problem since, um, but it's hard. But there's always substitutions, and you just need to be good at reading labels. You need to be good at really dialing into how your body feels, 
and just remembering like it is sealed in my mind how I felt Saturday, but I still have to get into a mindset of those five things are no go for me. Um, five things and no go. I just have to remember that and remember how I feel when I have them. I remember how good I feel with them out of my diet, guys. That's what's most important. Um, is just remembering how you feel when you're feeding your body foods that are not processed, foods that do not contain whole bunch of sugar, artificial sweeteners. Uh, we don't need those things. You know, a little bit of honey goes a long way. We actually use agave. So a little bit of agave will go a long way. A little bit of coconut oil will go a long way. Just play with these things and try things out and figure out what works for you. Obviously, you don't need to do four-week gut protocol to get results to figure out what your food sensitivities are. There's tons of different um, elimination diets out there. But the thing about four-week gut protocol is that it is matched up for with four weeks for everybody, which is very, very challenging, very, very hard workout, but low impact because your body can't you, if you're a weightlifter, if you are a major cardio junkie, if you run, your body cannot sustain that all the time. You need to let your body rest because you're going to get inflammation. You're going to plateau. If you're on a journey where you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to maintain, you need to switch it up. That is what I've learned that when I switch it up, it just goes so much better. So um, I'm going to kind of use this weekend to just kind of detox some of these things out getting back on track 100% on Monday. I have a couple ladies starting four week up protocol Monday. So we're going to do it together. I'm going to dial it all the way back in and get rid of the bloat that I have gained <laughs> and I'm doing reintroduction. Um, it just makes you not ever want to go back there, right? I don't like feeling this way. I don't like having my allergies be out of control. I don't like having headaches. I don't like the poor sleep. Um, excess sugar makes you sleep horribly, right? It just, I had just things that were too much sugar and just my sleep has been horrible. So here's to a little self care, uh, a little movie night tonight with the kids, a little time with hubby tonight, church tomorrow, you know, food prep, um, get in some more running, some stretching, some foam rolling, and um, I'm all prepared for the coming week. I have my week planned out. I have my new routine that I'm doing with having to be at work at 7 a.m. Um, 7 to 4 is my new schedule. Tuesday, Thursdays, I go in a little later just because I have to get the kids where they need to go. And uh, I can't drop Alex off at school until 7. So that's just kind of where I'm at. Um, just trying to hopefully the weather will be nicer and I will get to enjoy the weather next week because it's pretty crappy here. So I hope everybody has a fantastic Saturday and a fantastic weekend. Bye.